the ability to be able to de-age, be able to fix makeup, be able to repair skin tones and so on inside Photoshop has been an underlying current of its success over the years. Now, with the advent of neural filters, we're able to speed that process up no end. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Jerry Coleman from UCD Professional Academy, and I'm going to show you how to get perfect skin results every single time using neural filters. In this example, we're going to try and use neural filters to be able to aid us in creating a skin smoothing exercise. So we want to look at removing some blemishes from the skin, maybe some shine marks, some areas where the makeup could be a little bit touched up here and there, and indeed generally give an overall veneer or sheen to the overall finished effect. So we're going to use our neural filters. We're going to go to filter, neural filters, let it open up its large dialog box as usual. And you'll notice over on the right hand side we get our usual list of suspects in relation to the neural filters. Do check out our previous videos for a lot of these that we've already covered and we're always adding to this as we progress. For now we're going to look at skin smoothing. So as I hover over the icon you see it displays a little explanation of what it does. I then click on the toggle button on the right hand side to enable the filter. We let the neural filter work its magic, give it a couple of seconds and you see the results are absolutely stunning. Um, what I really like about this is actually the subtlety of the repair. It's not, excuse the pun, in your face. It's much more subtle, it's much more relaxed. Uh, and that's the beauty of what these neural filters are, uh, are excellent at providing, right? It's the AI reading the situation, giving you the results you want to see, but also not overpowering it so it looks over effective, right? We could always go and compare by clicking the little toggle buttons down here to see like for like. And we can go over to the right hand side where you'll see the sliders, where we can improve the, the blur elements or the general uh, smoothing elements of it. And I can click and I can maintain them as needed. But I have to say that the basics of what the neural filter generates generally 9 out of 10 times is there. The rest is a little tweaking depending on your own needs. Let's take another example here of another image that has slightly more need of the use of our smoothing tool. So we click in via neural filters, we enable again the skin uh, smoothing tool, let the AI do its job. And you'll see after a couple of seconds, it does a very good job of clearing up the complexion there. I can go over here, of course, as usual, and increase the blur and the smoothness to get more effects on it. But sometimes we can lose the essence of what we're trying to deal with. For me, it's always a nice remedy to use part of the skin smoothing options and then follow that up with using render tools inside Photoshop, the likes of our spot healing tool, healing brush tool, clone tool, patch tool, with all those elements to kind of finish out as we need. But in general, it's really done a lot of the work for us. Good job, neural filters. And we'll finish off with this final example, which is a black and white image. Now, black and white images can display more blemishes within the skin that we may want to repair. So in the context of this one, I'm going to go neural filter again. I'm going to select skin smoothing and enable by the toggle button. And it's going to do its job very quickly. And as always, the neural filter has our back. It does a really great job of removing key elements, but not the, not the heart or the essence of the person. We're not removing all the freckles, we're relieving them a little bit. Once I'm happy with them, once I kind of check around the, the artwork and compare it back to the original, yeah, it has done a fantastic job. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to click OK. And once I've applied those changes to it, I could then go and use my clone tools to remove out any other mole areas around the neck and the shoulders to get that overall finish. You've got to love neural filters, folks. <laughs>